What up, premium family? Premium straight hair wave is here. 360 wave rich here, and I got my friend. 808 PM. And in today's video, we're gonna be giving you guys tips and advice, so make sure you guys stay tuned for this video. So the first person we got on our list is Caesar RO. Now, as you guys can see, his hair is pretty straight. He got the little, the little S curls going on. You can see that he's gonna start to hit his ripple stage in a couple of weeks. Cause uh, me, when I started off, I start off with S curl, eh, S curls, S curls, and then S curls turn into ripples, and then ripples turn into waves. So when you guys are waving, the first thing you guys want to see is S curls for you guys, for all my straight hair wavers out there. His hair looks long. Yeah, his he, yeah his hair looks pretty long. You can tell he he's a. It takes him a little bit to Look get to his. Wolf for sure, though, huh? Yeah, it takes him a little bit to get to his current length. He ain't doing too bad. I mean, he'll get there eventually. All right, guys. So the next person we got here is Nathan Dot Ray I don't know how to say his name correctly. If I mistaken your name, uh, my bad. But right here we got him. You know, he got a big ass red mark on his forehead. But that's okay. That's okay, guys. You know, everyone gets it. Um, yeah, allergic reaction. Something I don't fucking know. But um, yeah, he got you. Can, as you can see, he also has S curls. Also. He's also gonna start to hit his ripple stage soon. Uh, keep on, keep on doing what you're doing, man, and uh, you'll eventually start to get, you know, eventually start dipping. So you, you tie a durag too hard with that, that, that red mark on your forehead. Yeah, don't so, tie it too hard, cause then you're gonna end up like that. You have that line, but yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna eventually start to like your, your forehead is gonna start eventually sprinkling. And it's gonna stay like that forever if you leave it. Bro. Yeah, your, your forehead will eventually start to wrinkle up. But yeah, bro, good shit. Good, good job, and uh, keep on doing what you're doing, man. The next person is underscore Rigo, underscore Tello, underscore 34. All right, so this guy's more, you know, he, he's dipping. He, he's dipping. Um, Gotta work on his crown a little bit, though. Yeah, his crown's coming in, though. Your crown is coming in really nice. Sides are coming in, too. Yeah, sides are, are definitely starting to come in. You know, he's dipping. He's dipping. You could tell he has curly hair, though, with the, how his waves are and how many waves he has. Yeah. You could tell how, that he has curly hair, but you know, you know he's still he's still dipping. He, he's still dipping though. You look, you just keep on doing what you're doing. If you want to get more depth in your waves, definitely comb. You're trying to get your crown in. If you want like a flawless crown, make sure you look at have a mirror behind you and and always look at your crown when you're brushing it. So right now you can see your sides are coming in. So make sure now you start using a mirror for your sides to get good connections. But other than that, that's. Other than that, you're doing good, though. Cool. You're doing good. All right, guys. So the next person we got is Wavy Joe. All right, guys. Now, this guy is a big boy. You know, you can tell he's a big boy. But, uh, <laughs> you know, he's doing... So you can tell, you know, this guy is definitely trying to get waves. So, uh, you know, he, he could, you know, obviously, he's working on trying to get waves. You could tell he's obviously barely starting his wave journey. You look like you're brushing your... your your hair kind of too backwards, like you're putting your brush all the way to the back of your, where your head is at. So make sure when you're brushing, you don't go to like back here and go like that. Make sure when you brush, you go straight down like that. You don't want to go like that because your crown's not going to come out right. And take your time when you're brushing, you're kind of going in hand, like you're going hand, bro. Yeah, make, make, like, sure, make sure you're taking time and, taking into time. brushing. Other than that, make sure you're moisturizing and putting in curl enhancer smoothie to help your hair curl up because I couldn't see that your hair is thin. But yeah, anyways, he's a big boy, so we're going to go to the next person. Don't take it the wrong way, guys. Entertainment purposes only. So if you're watching this, just for entertainment. I'm a big boy, too. Big boy. Yeah, like, you want to. <laughs> So the next person we got is Armando.tyb. So you could tell this guy is also obviously a beginner. He's barely starting off his wave journey also like the last guy. Um, you could tell that he's kind of putting in a little bit of work in his crown. Oh. It kind of looks like a swirl yeah. in a way, but... His hair looks moisturized though. Yeah, you can tell that his crown goes in a swirl more so naturally. But yeah, I don't really got much to say. Just keep on brushing. Make sure you're moisturizing, you know. Do not let your hair get dry because when your hair gets dry, it doesn't look too nice and it looks, you know, ugly. And his hair looks like he lays it down real good. So that's yeah, that's, another, that's one good thing about him is that his hair looks really laid down. And the first thing you want to do when you start off is 
train your hair to to lay down but yeah man keep on keep on brushing and and uh be consistent and also most importantly have patience if you're a straight hair waver patience to me is the is the number one thing but uh yeah just grow your hair and, and get to its curl length keep it up keep it up and you eventually start dipping all right so the next person is julian underscore mba all right so as you can see he's at his ripple stage he's at his rippling stage you can see um, he's definitely obviously you could tell he's working on his crown because you can see the little You can see about like what one wave behind his crown so you could tell that he's all, he's putting in that crown work Yeah, you can see the his ripples forming around his head already too. Yeah, you can always you can already see that So uh, you could tell that he's putting in that work, you know, keeping keeping on track with the crown Silky looking hair. Very silky hair, but yeah, man good shit keep on brushing make sure you know you got your ripple stage so make sure when you you brush, make sure you get your angles right. So brush straight down uh, so you won't cause any forks. So when you you really start fully dipping, you won't have a whole bunch of forks because trust me guys, having forks is annoying. Because then it, you look at that fork and then you're like, fuck, I want to get that out of the way. I don't know if I'm gonna put that in here. But yeah, man, you're doing really, really good right now. Let's keep on going. Uh, about a couple months, I'll say about another three months, you'll full, you'll be fully probably dipping. Probably even less, cause this shit's already forming. Yeah, so. probably even less, man. So you doing you doing really good. All right, guys. So the next person we got is Steve Dot Six. Now in this picture, you can tell that he has curly hair. Um, he has a lot of waves. He has like what, like we have like eight rows, eight, eight nine rows. So you could definitely tell his hair is curly, but it's all good, you know. He's he's still dipping. His waves look really nice. You could definitely tell that he has forks in his, in his wave. So uh, what I recommend for you is to comb back to break those forks. Other than that, keep on brushing. Make sure you comb back to break those forks you got and to better those connections and make sure when you're brushing, get into your brush angles so you won't go off your pattern and cause more forks. Yeah. But uh, other than that, I have no, nothing much to say, but keep on going and you, you, you're doing really good. All right, so we're going to the next person. The next person we got is Jay. T230, I don't know how to really say your name. If I mistake your name, my bad. You can tell he got really thick hair. Just yeah. Looking at the picture. So this guy right here in this picture, you can tell he, his waves do look, you know, not waves, but his hair does look pretty thick. You can tell he has that good, thick, healthy hair. Um, right now, you can tell that he's definitely in his ripple stage, but once he gets his waves, they're gonna come out really, really nice. You know, just keep on brushing. He's on his five weeks right now. Five weeks since scalping. So that's good. Wait, five weeks? That's pretty... You get, no, I think he has curly hair, too. Yeah. Because five weeks, that's that's pretty short for straight hair waver. Like, if you're a real straight hair waver and you see ripples at five weeks, that's actually really soon, all right? Yeah. So, for a real straight hair waver, if you want to see ripples, it's like 10 to like 14 weeks. But if you want like at five weeks, you see ripples, he has curly hair. But, you know, you can tell he has that thick curly hair. So his waves are going to come out very nice. All right, guys. So that's basically the end of the video. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys want to see a part two, comment down below part two. And me and, and 8 away will do another part two of you guys giving you guys tips and advice. But other than that, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment to a video you guys would like to see next. But anyways, it's been 360 Wave Richard. 808 PM. And I'll see you guys in the next video.